Hi, welcome to the Haven Writers Guild podcast. We invite you to join us as we explore the curious world of writing. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We'd like to introduce everyone to our radio play, which um, we've we've put it out there a couple of times. I suppose today we just want to reintroduce it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're creating a radio play, which hopefully is going to air in, in December at some point, hopefully sort of close to Christmas. So it might be a, our Christmas, Christmas episode year send off mm. sort of thing. That'd be nice. Yeah, that's right. Even Woody. though it has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas. It's got nothing to do with Christmas, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, yes. So it's a nice time of year. Yeah, that's right. So do you want to give us a, a brief rundown of the plot oh, once I again? I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, well, you do it so well. Oh. Um, right, so there is a old manuscript that has gone missing, mm-hmm. and all the suspects are gathered to the victim's house Yes. for a weekend Absolutely. of intrigue and interrogation and puzzle solving and mystery to find out who done it exactly and he's obviously just to be on the corny side he is a reclusive billionaire oh yes gotta have the reclusive, yeah, reclusive billionaire, billionaire. <laughs> that's what's right <laughs> yes so it's going to be very interesting excellent obviously it is a radio play so mm. it is something that is well honestly we actually haven't done any radio plays before we've written lots of stories mm-hmm. um haven't written many scripts before like none. None at all. Mm-hmm, yep. But uh, obviously a radio play is quite a unique experience because obviously you're looking at basically no visual whatsoever. It's all audio. It's all exposition through dialogue, which is mm. which is a, um, a unique challenge. Um, at the moment, obviously, we are plowing through the script, um, which which sounds absolutely fantastic. When I say plowing, I mean we've we've probably done a few pages, but yep. it, it's a very good pages. <laughs> but we've done lots of talking, done lots of and talking, lots of thinking. So that's yes. that's important. Um, interestingly, if you're going to compare writing with well, general fiction writing to script writing, I suppose you know we don't have the visual but neither do you in writing. What we do have is things like sound effects and tone yeah. of voice, which is going to be quite an interesting dynamic to add into. Yeah. Because I think with normal writing, you have to put that into the the writing itself, you know, using people's body language to show how they're reacting to something being said or even writing what the tone of voice is itself. So this, yeah. is, this is, you know, but then you've got script writing for plays where you're actually, it's all very visual. So yeah. this is some kind of strange place in the middle. Um, it's actually, I'm, I'm quite interested to see how it turns out, firstly, but also how it actually, I suppose, teaches me about the technique of writing a radio play. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's going to be making the most out of of dialogue, really, mm. which, which is going to be very, very interesting. You've got to hone the dialogue yeah, and um, I don't know what else there is that's like that's anything like this kind of writing. Yeah, yeah, mm. absolutely, because this yeah, it's very limited as to what you can use. Yeah, but um, obviously there is, as you say, there is the addition of of music and sound effects, which yeah. I am very looking forward to going out <laughs> and and creating. Yeah, so that'll be fun. Going out and using the the radio mics to um, you know, we have dinner and we'll just put the mic up and you can chew on different things and and get the different sound effects and can walk in different different surfaces and and get all those kind of things so that should be lots of fun anyway Mm. yeah it'll be interesting and i think we're all we've already hit some some challenges in terms of how we're going to convey what's actually happening in a scene absolutely Mm. yeah and we've gone crazy and decided there's going to be some backstory to the central Mm. plot so there's going to be some time jumping so some how flashbacks, we, yeah. Some flashbacks, how yeah. we integrate those time jumps is going to be very, very interesting. Yeah, but it's all fun. I, I, I'm, I'm finding it really interesting. It's definitely a, a big step away from what I'm used to writing. Yeah. Um, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the other part of it too that I suppose is, is a bit strange is that we're actually opening the casting call. Yes, yes. For the characters to pretty much anyone in, in the world who would like to audition for the parts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've, we sort of... Opening up the casting call, um, obviously getting people to 
um, send in auditions at some point, hopefully when we've written the, the script, mm -hmm. which should be done in the next couple of months. Yeah, so obviously people can record wherever they are and just send it in and we'll just mix it up. Yeah. And get, get something going from there, which is obviously the benefits. You don't actually have to be in the same room as someone else. Just has to sound yeah, like you're right. in the same room as someone else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, editing could prove a bit of a sticking point, but I suppose we'll figure it out. But I think it's going to be really exciting to see you know, who, who we actually get auditioning for parts and just the idea of having all these different people from, from all over the world coming together to, to voice this script is really, it's quite exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So what is the question for today? Well, I suppose the, um, well, one of the things about radio play, one of the reasons I think we wanted to do a radio play is because Australia doesn't really have anything like it. Um, obviously, the BBC does a lot of uh, radio plays. They never really lost that. Yeah, um, absolutely. But I feel like it, it is something of a lost art. Yeah. Um, when it used to be such a, 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 what do you call it? Every home has one, you know? Yeah. Like it's kind of just everyone used to listen to radio plays. Mm. It's what they had for entertainment. And then video killed the radio, radio star. star. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Good, that's nice. <laughs> um, but I, I guess I was just sort of thinking about, you know, if people actually remember listening to radio plays back in the day, or if they've come across any new ones that they think are done really well, or you know, are potentially a new way of doing an old thing. Exactly. Yes, because I think at the moment, if if Obviously, the medium we're, we're, we're putting on is, is the podcast medium. So this, this yeah. radio play will go up in podcast form. So it'll be on iTunes. It'll be on uh, SoundCloud. It'll be on something else. It'll be on YouTube as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, that's right. Um, I suppose when you look at a lot of these podcast um, platforms, what you're getting is a lot of talk back. Mm -hmm. Basically, talk back radio, which is a bunch of people sitting in a studio waffling most of the time. Like us. Like us. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So... Um, <laughs> What seems to be void from that is, well, I mean, there are a few, obviously, uh, basically storytelling. And admittedly, there are lots of audio book kinds of mm. uh, radio, radio plays where people literally just read from a story and there are sound effects in the background, which sometimes isn't, isn't well, no, that, that's 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 some of the some of them out mm. there. And that's really not utilizing what a radio play is, which is specifically the whole kind of sound effects and people actually acting yeah. out the scene so that's technically i would say radio play that separates it from something else separates it from just being an audio book yeah you know what i mean and different from a play yeah and what was it the the goonies the goonies, the goonies that they had a massive following i mean people love they were funny and they made yeah. people laugh and it was a you know it was something that people actually really got into and I'm I'm hoping that this is something we can sort of bring back to life a little bit. Yeah, exactly, because there seems to be a lot of traffic around the talk back, but there doesn't seem to be too many stories. And we love narrative, mm. and that's what we like to bring back. Yeah. So some narrative, and not just serious narrative, a bit of fantastical narrative as yeah, well. Yeah, something fun. So. Yeah. But having said that, though, I would... I wouldn't mind testing the local radio stations and seeing whether they'd be interested in maybe even putting some radio plays back on the radio. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. To see whether that's still a, a viable medium. Yeah, because definitely. Otherwise, it's kind of just a podcast play. Yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see well, what happens. Admittedly, I actually really like the podcast form simply because it has nothing to do with commercial media such as a radio station. So I like the fact that it's separate and you don't have to go through that whole rigmarole of advertising and... Yeah, but you know what? With radio, the difference is if you want to listen to a radio play, yes, you can't do it on the radio anymore because they're not there. No. So you go onto a podcast, you look up radio plays and you find some and you listen to them. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty small group of people who are looking for that. Whereas if you actually put radio plays on the radio, suddenly you've got people driving along in their car, you've got a captive audience, a radio play comes on. And they're like, what is this? I don't want to listen to a radio play, but this is actually kind of funny and interesting and I really want to know what happens. And then before you know it, you've actually got a bigger audience. People that may have never listened to a radio play before have the opportunity to hear one and may actually love it. So Yes, but I think the thing is that a lot of radio is actually changing hands and a lot more people are actually listening to things like Spotify and those kind of mediums, um, those kind of platforms. So people aren't actually listening to the radio much as much as they were so well, people maybe. are actually listening to like itunes you know people listen to itunes in their car yeah but then on that their means phones, are... and this is this is incorporated into that so 
Yes, but you know, then you've got to it's a find new wave. It. And then people are staying in their little <laughs> bubbles of the things they like and going beyond that um, is unlikely and, you know... Then... Well, no, it's, it's quite a healthy community. There are a lot of podcasting stations and people doing podcasting who are sharing their podcasts. The One of the things it's actually doing is changing, in, increasingly incorporating more more women, I think it was. I think it's sort of... They talk about American podcasts basically being a couple of blokes sitting in the den with a couple of beers talking about the game sort of thing. So mm. that, that seems to be sexist kind of thing. So it seems to be increasingly more, yeah. You can't more, redeem more your women. argument by just including the fact that women are getting more involved. <laughs> okay, because I think so. No, because you're saying that radio is a dying medium, therefore we should no longer use it, but let's switch over to the new medium. No, no, I, I'm, I'm saying a radio suffers a bit like commercial television it's sort of it, it gets it's sort of flooded by talk back and it's flooded by advertisements and it's restrained by those kind of things podcasts i mean we didn't pay anything for our podcasts oh, and we're not yeah. we're not going to pay anything for our podcast and we can create something and put it on without that whole yeah but we listened to thing. a podcast the other day that had yes. about 15 minutes of ads before she actually got to telling the story yes that's true but those are a lot of those american American podcasts, and it seems to be American audiences, they're very willing to put in ads and they're obviously very willing to listen to ads. It seems to be part of the shows, you know? It's like a yeah. traditional thing. Yeah, but I think I'm not saying podcasts are, you know, like I'm not saying we should choose one or the other. I'm just saying, yes, obviously we're going to use podcasts as a way to communicate this radio play, but yes. I would also be interested to see if local radio stations will be willing to support it as an extra avenue. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's like basically, you know, if the BBC come along, yeah. they're like, so do you fancy from your, your, your podcast? I was thinking more like Florio FM. Yeah, Florio you know. FM. <laughs> but yeah, well, BBC will right. work. See how quickly we sell out. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, well, it'll be certainly uh, an interesting experiment to see where this goes and what Absolutely. we learn from it. Yeah, but, and yeah. we would obviously, back to that whole thing, we'd love to hear from people who have had experience with, I suppose, writing writing scripts, what what their sort of their tips and their, their opinions are on writing scripts, and also if people have had experience writing a radio play, because I think that's very unique. Everyone's written scripts, but radio, pl- radio play scripts are very unique in yeah. that regard. So. Yeah, but I'd also just be interested in hearing from people who have had a, a good experience of radio plays, as in sitting around with their family listening to them, yeah, or just have heard some really cool ones. Exactly, yeah. I, I'm really interested to see what is actually out there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Lovely, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you for joining us on the Haven Writers Guild podcast today. If you'd like more writing support, find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or on our website. Or you can email us directly at havenwritersguild at gmail.com.